Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and today we're actually going to be revisiting the Metavora Assault Squad 2 Halo mod. I know it has been quite a while. I used to do a lot of episodes of this on daily gaming, and then I've done a few on daily tactics. But uh, in all honesty, I've been getting a lot of requests to switch up the content a little bit. That doesn't mean Star Wars is going away, so don't worry. But it does mean we're going to be tossing in some World War 3 stuff, we're going to be tossing in some Halo stuff, stuff, maybe some Warhammer 40k stuff, things like that, just into the regular rotation of videos, but the channel will stay majority Star Wars. Either way, we have 500 UNSC Marines here, all squatted up, about to attack a Covenant uh, jungle forest defense. So the Covenant has grunts, uh, they have elites, they have jackals, all uh, lined up behind the trenches and things like that. Some of them are free roaming, some of them are stationary, so they have a nice mix of troopers. Um, and they are just dominating this entire jungle. They are in every nook and cranny, in ambush positions, in outright trench positions. It is going to be a tough nut to crack for the UNSC Marines, but I think our boys are up for it. Uh, so guys, if you want to see more Halo mod videos, be sure to comment down below and like the video. Let's try and get 600 likes in the first 24 hours, I guess. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into it here. Hey guys, real quick before this video begins, I want to thank my sponsor, Instant Gaming, for sponsoring this video. Uh, they sell really, really cheap games for almost any console you could think of, and PC. Men of War Assault Squad 2, for example, a game I play a lot on the channel, is only $5 compared to its retail price of $30. They achieved this by buying games in bulk during Steam sales and then selling them back uh, to consumers for a cheaper price later on. It is completely legit. I use it to buy all of my games personally, so I would highly recommend it if you're looking to pick something up. They also have a wide variety of Star Wars games, uh, every Star Wars Battlefront you could imagine, Imagine, the Force Unleashed games, Knights of the Old Republic, Republic Commandos, all for extremely cheap prices. Even just going in the link in the description below and clicking on the link helps out my channel a ton because it shows that I am referring to people to the website. I highly recommend considering it if you're looking to make a game purchase in the near future. And thank you so much for you guys for listening to this advertisement. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the video and on with the video. All right, boys, let's get into it. Going in slow-mo for just the first little bit of this battle here. Let's get a nice close-up of the Covenant who are about to be attacked, and we are pressing start. So here comes the UNSC Marines. The Covenant sort of spazzing out and moving around, and there we go. There is open fire. Grunts are basically absolute trash in Halo, so I think they're actually a one-shot kill in all honesty. I don't know if that's completely true, but... By the looks of it, it is, because most of them are getting one-shot kill. The Elites are much, much stronger. In fact, I think the Elites and the Jackals are um, a little bit higher health than the UNSC Marines in this game. And then the UNSC Marines themselves are like a nice little middle ground in terms of everything. So, uh, there is balance to this game. And, of course, the Covenant Army is more of a, you know more men less skill sort of a, a, an army kind of akin to the battle droid army in Star Wars and that's resembled through the grunts being very similar to the battle droids and then they have elite units like commando droids or they have units like um, magna guards things like that so um, from what I understand it's very similar to that though I could be kind of wrong because I'm not a halo expert I played a lot of Halo uh, 3 ODST and Halo Reach back in my youths, but um, since then I haven't really played much Halo uh, apart from this, so please excuse my lack of knowledge in the Halos. Either way, UNSC Marines coming through a tight little choke point here, as we can see many of them dropping to the ground dying, uh, but a good number of them are also managing to get a good amount of shots out, and they're actually continuing the battle quite nicely. There is a few uh, elites with uh, laser swords here trying to come up and take them out, uh, but they're getting killed before they can get close enough with the swords. Energy swords, that's what they're called. Right, so this guy gets actually real up close and personal. He might have killed a... 
UNSC Marine or two. Not fully sure. More UNSC Marines dying in this choke point. This is a real challenge for them to get through. The Energy Sword Troopers just keep on spamming their way forward, trying to connect with a few hits. Meanwhile, an army of grunts and elites in the back just keep on peppering the entrance with more and more fire. Really a gorgeous defense being put on right now by the Covenant and the Marines are in a bit of a struggle bus to actually accomplish anything, but they have 500 troopers at their disposal. Um, so I think eventually they'll manage to break out of this uh, defensive position here that they're stuck in right now and they'll begin the assault once more. Let's go into normal speed now. We've sort of gotten the intro uh, through there and we got to see the the mass slaughter in more detail and now we can see it in real time. And as you can see, the troopers are moving a whole heck of a lot faster. They're actually, um, you know, getting a good amount of fire out. They're dying faster too, which is the drawback there. <laughs> It'd be really tough like that, don't it? I'd love to learn more about the Halo um, lore in all honesty, so I was thinking since the Master Chief Collection is coming out, I could play some of the campaigns on Daily Productions, my second channel, which could be kind of just fun in general. It gets me good content and I'll also be able to learn some lore for future Halo mod videos and things like that. So I don't know, maybe I'll end up doing that and uh, that could be kind of fun. Who knows, maybe I'll do that or maybe I'll just watch some lore videos because in all honesty, I feel like I used to know the lore a bit better, but um, nowadays I'm, I'm kind of a noob in terms of it all. I don't think there are any Spartans in um, in this mod, by the way, or else I would have added them to the game, but um, I'm pretty sure that Spartans are non-existent. I wasn't able to find them in the list or anything like that. And in all honesty, this mod is actually very outdated. It came out years ago. Um, it's still floating around on the internet in some places, but I think it got taken down uh, due to Halo, um, you know, Copy, copyright strikes and, and things like that so uh, the mod creators might have just had to say oh that's the end of this fun uh, fun experiment but um, it is still floating around on the internet in some places if you guys do want to play it for yourselves um, but I'd love to see just a fully HD version of this mod kind of like how Star Wars Galaxy, Galaxy at War used to be like textures kind of like this not HD textures kind of clunky, like almost PS2 era textures. That's what Star Wars Galaxy of War used to look like. Um, but then they had a huge revamp and it's all HD now. It's all gorgeous. I would love to see that in terms of the Halo mod. I think that would be so unbelievably cool, but um, it's just not written in the books at the moment. Maybe in the future we'll be able to get something like that. Either way, the UNSC Marines are still getting slaughtered here. At the very least, they're still getting fire out themselves, and they're making progress further down the choke point. But, I mean, look at this body count mashing up here. I mean, they're probably down to half of their original starting forces, so things aren't looking too swell, and there are still tons and tons of elites and grunts at the end of this uh, choke point being able to pour more fire in. Luckily, the grunts are being a little bit aggressive, and they're actually coming up to the walls here. So that makes it easier for the UNSC Marines to be more accurate and actually take these guys out. But at the same time, um, you know, these guys are doing what they do best by just chopping the UNSC Marines down when they round the corner there. Although, a bunch of guys making some progress over here. What? Are the elites just, like, cool with these guys? Guys, turn around, shoot them! Oh, Men of War, why are you like this? There you go, this guy's shooting him. Oh, of course, he the only guy shooting him dies. Okay. Guys, shoot them! Shoot those people! They're, they're, just, they're just killing you! They're just getting free shots on you! Oh, there we go, they turned and killed him. Oh my god, they, they were gonna give me an aneurysm just from the sheer stupidity there. Whew! Alright, well, at the very least, the Marines are now getting more fire out. We can see an officer right here, we can tell by his cap. Um, he is dead now, though, so rip him. There goes another officer, actually, right there. That's real tough. One of the officers um, has shotguns, which is really, really good. I don't see any of them here. There's only a few of them on the map in total, and maybe they died because they ran forward trying to get in range to actually utilize their shotguns. Um, but the troopers with the shotguns are, of course, uber powerful. Shotgun units in Men of War, in general, just tend to be extraordinarily good compared to assault rifle and SMG units. Well, the UNSC Marines seem to have broken past the uh, little choke point there, and they're actually making progress in the battle. Props to these fellas. Um, 
they persevered and they outnumbered the Covenant and as a result they're making huge waves on the battlefield taking out the last remaining elites and grunts and jackals that are in this uh, initial sort of entrance area into the jungle but don't you worry there is plenty more defense to be had later on in the battle uh, I mean seriously there is tons and tons of um, Covenant troopers left alive Plenty more energy swordsmen, plenty more grunts, plenty of free roaming troopers who might have retreated further back. They've got more cover back here, so it is far from over for the UNSC Marines. I imagine the UNSC Marines and the, you know, Spartans and, you know, just the humans in general for Halo are sort of the, the groups that most people root for in the game. Um, they seem, you know, they're obviously like the heroes of the game, like Master Chief, and they're more akin to like the clone troopers as opposed to the CIS in, in terms of Star Wars. But I wonder if there's anyone who like loves the Covenant, because I know there are some people who are like serious CIS fanboys in terms of the Star Wars universe, and like they hate the clone troopers. It's really interesting because some in some comment sections where the clones win, they're like, oh, those bloody clones always winning, you know, they get a little bit a little bit peeved off that the clone troopers gain another victory. So I wonder if there's people who are interested in the Covenant that same sort of a way. D does anyone here love the Covenant or, or are we all sort of hero, you know, Marines uh, fanboys? Because I gotta say, I think I'm a fan of the, the humans more so. I have a couple of action figures from when Halo Reach first came out when I was a kid of, uh, it's like a blue and red uh, Spartan armor. Um, Halo characters, and they're pretty sick. I, I think I have them in a drawer somewhere, and sometimes I display them on my desk. They're like some of my favorite action figures ever. I was never a big action figure guy, but I had a few Star Wars ones. I had a few Halo ones. Um, they're just kind of fun, you know? They're good de decorations, that sort of a thing. All right, well, the UNSC Marines are pushing very, very far through the jungle now, but they're coming on to two big choke points here. Uh, this one right here, I imagine, will end up being a pretty big choke point, and then this one over here will also end up, I think, being a bit of a big choke point. Um, if the Covenant manages to get troopers over there right now, there's only a grunt holding this choke point, so that might not end up being that good of a choke point. But over here, we do have quite a number of elites and grunts um, holding this area, which is looking pretty good. I'm seeing a few marines going down, but they're kind of rolling at this point in all honesty. I'm pretty confident that the Marines are going to win this battle overall, um, as they're only taking a few losses um, from here on out. After they pass that first choke point, they have been on uh, easy street for the most part, and it has not been too bad. But this is proving to be a nice little hold for the, the few elites left alive over here. They are managing to get a few kills here and take down a few more humans. So not bad, not bad at all. How's the left side going? Is any Marine... Uh, a few Marines are like over on the left side. They seem to be hugging that mountain there. Um, and all the grunts that were over there are dead. There's one dead marine right there who decided to attack too early, I take it. Alright, well this elite over here died, the grunts died over here too, so... This is a bit of a danger zone right now. One elite... Oh! He gets headshot right there by some trooper back here. Not too shabby, boy. Not too shabby at all. Um, there's of course more elites on the other side of the water here. There's a floating tree. Of course, that's, uh, part of the... Halo lore is floating trees, naturally, naturally. <laughs> I think the Covenant defense here is floundering, and we are about to see the very end of it here. Not many troopers remain in the grand scheme of this battle, and the Marines are just sort of rolling at this point. After they took initial losses, um, they've had a much, much easier time now um, actually making things happen. A few of them crossing this little river area over here. But... Like I said before, not many Covenant Troopers left alive to defend, and it's looking like this is about to be a wrap here. Uh, maybe a few more Marines die to these Grunts and Elites that are alive in the forest, but probably not many, and I have a feeling the, the Marines are just going to roll. A few more Grunts over here. This guy's actually getting some nice shots underneath this Phantom Tank, which is kind of sick. That's like a good little, like, um, head peek. That's, that's dope, actually. But then these troopers come up over the, uh, end of it and just nail them in the head. A few more elites way in the back over here. In fact, this might be the, no, this is not the last trooper. Oh, he's dead. So now this is the last trooper, and now he's dead. So the, the Marines end up winning the day. Um, they have actually a good number of troopers alive, probably 100 or 200 troopers, but they took about 300, 400 losses, so... 
in totality, not the greatest battle for the Marines. It was definitely a Pyrrhic victory, but they ended up with the victory no matter what. So, not bad. Why do some of these guys run so fast? What is that? That's a weird part of the mod. Okay. Um, either way, let's check out the losses here. So, yellow are dead um, Covenant forces. Red are dead Marines. As you can see, massive slaughter over here for the Marines. This was brutal. This was absolutely brutal. A few more losses in here. Um, lots of dead Covenant forces in here, too. Then, as we go into the jungle, Marines still take some losses, but right around here, they really, they stop taking very many losses. They start cruising through this area, and then the sort of final defense did end up with a few dead Marines, but not that many, and the um, Covenant managed to, to take a fat dub here, so not bad for the Marines at all. Um, no, sorry, the Covenant ended up taking a fat L. The Marines ended up taking a fat dub. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Um, yeah, so either way, kind of a fun battle. Uh, just getting back into the swing of Halo here. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this in the future because I would be happy to do more. I honestly kind of enjoy the change of pace every once in a while and it's kind of fun for me to um, you know, do different stuff and, and do different mods just in general while still sort of keeping to the, the sci-fi aesthetic of this uh, channel. So very epic stuff. Love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.